What to do, everybody? Oh yeah. Uh, as you can see, we got new wheels, Chief. Huh? We got new wheels. All I'm saying is we ain't about that stance life no more, man. But uh, we about to go get our new tires, wheels. Now in balance, I'm not putting them on today. Better just get that out the way. What's that noise, man? It's like something breaking or something like that. Um, yeah, we better go to the tire shop, get those put on uh, mount and balance, and then after that, uh, I am doing tire letters again, so I don't know if I want to do that with this video or a separate video. I might do that separate video, honestly. This is just like the new reveal. Uh, we call it wheels for the R6 this season. Um, but first, need to go take this, drop this off at the post office, and then we're gonna head over there. So we'll be right back. All right, took care of that. Bro, my car is so dirty, y'all. And then, I only think I showed you, I'm gonna show y'all later, but my front lip is done. But uh, we got the... Uh, the mail shipped off, so we better head to the tire shop now. It's been like nothing but rubber in this thing. Huh? I just want to chill. All right. All right, y'all. So we made it here. Crazy thing is, bro, we ran into a subscriber. Bro, that's crazy, bro. Ran into a subscriber here at the uh, tire shop. We was just talking, chatting. He was asking me about, uh, what do you call it? How my coils holding and all that. You got a Lexus IS 300. Things sound pretty good, man. I don't know. Things sound good, huh? But yeah, bro. People at the shop talking, saying they, you know, messing with the hard sex. But uh, we just waiting in line so we can get these, you know, the wheels mounted and balanced. I don't know if you can see them over there. Pulling out right there. But, uh, yeah, man. We're just waiting right now. I'm not gonna show y'all. I don't wanna show y'all right now. I wanna show y'all the big reveal when I get back to the house. So I can tell y'all specs and all that. Good stuff. Have y'all waiting, how about that, man? Oh, shit, sitting in the low chair. So we are back. Uh, this is the following day. Uh, my time, my hands got tied up uh, yesterday, so I'm trying to handle business, like I said. But uh, y'all saw all that, man. It's time for the reveal of the wheel. If y'all saw it on my Instagram story, y'all probably already know what color it is. I can't even talk right now. I'm excited, but uh, here it is, man. We got the, get that bad boy. We got the Firehawk, Firestone Firehawk ND500. Tires on this bad boy. 245, 4017. RPF1, 17 by nine, with a plus 35 offset. That's what we run in this year. The nice red, like I said, it is definitely a big difference from the other set of wheels. And uh, if you guys want to see who has those wheels and you want to see how they look on a TL, my boy King Kells, I'll put his uh, Instagram on the screen right there in the description. Uh, he, you know, sold the wheels to him. So he has them. Uh, I never, as y'all noticed, those wheels are more so like set up for stance because those had what a plus 10 offset, so they stuck out more, which made it, you know, where I had to like, you know, stance the car. So that was never the look that I was going for with my RSX. I always wanted like a meaty setup, like a track setup, you know, functional. Uh, didn't want that, you know, low life really. You know, it looks good, but like I said, I, that was never my plans. I just ran with it at the time because I saw the wheel, I liked the wheel, and I just got it. So didn't know how it was gonna look on the car. 
so uh, that was that. But like I said, it did look good. I got a lot of compliments on it and stuff like that. Great wheel. I still love the wheel. Don't get me wrong, but um, like I said, this is a lot of people's, you know, go-to wheel, man. Like I said, my dream wheel is the Volt Racing T37s, but those wheels, bro, for like a set, you look at least like three, bro. I don't even want to get into that, but those those wheels cost a lot, man. Like I said, uh, this is what we running, man. Uh, what else is it? Like I said, I just did these. I got three more to do. I did these last no the day the day before yesterday. The tire stickers, um, that custom, that permanent one. So I had to use like the adhesive. And that's another thing. You guys doing this? It's gonna take a while, but just take your time and get some acetone or alcohol and like a white towel. And just like keep going around the rim like multiple multiple times until you get you know most of all that debris off of it so you have a better chance of your tire letters sticking and not coming off when you're on the road you want to make sure you know it's on there good and like i said you want the temperature to be on the paper say like 65 degrees like you know temperature for like the area where you're working don't you want the tire to be super cold um and yeah, so like I said, these, the car, I'm planning on getting the car. I got a lot more stuff. I don't know, if, I'll probably just show you when I get it put on because um, I'm probably going to drop the car off Thursday after work. Got a funeral go to Friday. Today's Monday, so um, yeah. Oh, and I also just ordered the custom center cap, so those should be here sometime at the end of this week. Uh, stay tuned for those. Uh, what else is it? And that's pretty much it, man. Better put this down. If you guys like this video, man, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Always remember to strive for greatness. You only got one life to live. One. Live it, but don't give it. Oh, oh, oh.